What's up guys, West Coast Picks here, and today I got this Stanley 50 mil, uh, what was it called, 24-7 security, uh, high security padlock. And uh, you've probably seen these pick before, so have I. So I know it's not much more than a regular schlag with maybe a couple security pins, but uh, let's go over the, some of the features anyway. Uh, we have a molybdenum, however you say that, molybdenum uh, hardened steel shackle, a hardened steel body, which these bodies are pretty hard apparently, and a spinner over the over the core there, so you can't really drill them out, not easily anyway. And six pin core works pretty nice. No key retaining or anything. Uh, it's fairly decent bidding. Nice high cut behind a low cut there and a low cut up front. So it's not bad. And I am prepared today, guys. I've got a Stanley Allen set which uh, matches the lock. So hopefully uh, everything I need is there to get in here. But you never know. So. Let's uh, let's try to get into it, and we'll take a look at what's inside. I know I've seen these taken apart before, and I know I have to get the shackle out before I can get the core out. So I'm expecting a little bit of exploratory after I get this thing open. But that is part of the fun, at least for me. I don't really feel any security pins or anything yet, guys. I'm just being very tentative, very uh, light on the tension, very light on my pick because I don't want to overset anything. I know. Uh, Schlegs can be very well made, and Stanley's a pretty decent company, so it probably is a very well made uh, cylinder in here. So be a little careful not to overset anything. And it's not a race for me, I just want to get it open, doesn't matter so much the time as long as it doesn't take an hour. <laughs> Nobody wants to watch that. And uh, so maybe it's serrated in here or something. Cause there's one pin. There we go. There's one pin I got a couple, cl couple clicks out of, and uh, we're open. So it wasn't. Oh yeah, I'm looking down there for for a screw, but there isn't one. Uh, it wasn't that big of a deal. Let's uh, see if I can get the right one on the first shot here. Nope. Yep. There we go. It's a little stiff, and I see Loctite on it, so that's probably why. Uh, when this is locked, you can take this set screw out, and it's not going to matter because uh, the bolt bearings will still be holding the shackle in place. So you can see as I got it out, the shackle jumped out a little bit, and I should just be able to. Oh, I have to uh, unlock it. And then the shackle should come out. There we go. So it just uh, goes in there. The ball bearings are holding it in. Should be able to get the spring out. There we go. And I see an Allen down there, but it's pretty far down there. And smaller than that. I'm going to, well... Break out my other Allen set here, guys, because I know they're nice and long. Uh, it's too thick. Probably this one. Nice and long, so it'd be easier to uh, get down in there. <clears throat> it's pretty stiff. Probably Loctite as well. Yeah, blue Loctite. 
Oh, explosion. All right, well, um, there's our spinner. There's uh, our bottom plate, but there's a ball bearing right there. And I guess that's for anti-drill, because that sits right above this kick cylinder there. So, uh, yeah, you go to drill those pins out, you won't be able to. It's got a nice anti-drill ball bearing there. That's pretty cool. I like that. This would be um, the uh, core retainer, so the core can't turn back when you have the key, and it can only turn the one way. That's what that's for. See other locks with it. There's our bottom nut, there's our screw, our body, and then we're left with essentially just a kick cylinder with an adapter, which is cool. So you can put uh, whatever you want in here. I've got a Medico around here somewhere. I could throw a Medico in here or whatever. But uh, let's get this thing open, see what they put in here for pins. So far, uh, it's a pretty decent lock. I like what I see. Uh, the only thing I could possibly complain about okay, it's on the long side um, is that you need two different Allen keys to service the thing um, if you noticed not just because of the length but the actual thickness of um, like the size of the Allen for the shackle retainer bolt and the uh, bottom plate retainer bolt were different different sizes so uh, I would change that if I was Stanley it's it's nice to have one tool that one tool to rule them all or whatever you know I don't think there'd be any such thing as uh, t-pins in a stock lock like this but just to be sure I'll throw a shim in it oh I pulled the key out there we go is it in that's it. And here's my, uh, this is half of a Sharpie, an old Sharpie that worn out, and I just cut it apart, and it actually works pretty nice. So we have all six pins in, and I'm already seeing, guys, there's counter milling on every one of these chambers, which is pretty awesome. Don't think I've seen any stock padlocks with that yet. This would be the first one. So, right on to uh, Stanley. And I don't know if these are steel or if they're chrome brass, so let's uh, find out. No, chrome brass. And uh, all standard in the key pin. And up top, got a shim. A, well, it's a very short spool or a wide serration, one of the two. And one. Standard and two. A, I think that's an anti-bump pin. It looks like it has wings on the side of it. Kind of oblong. It's weird. I'll uh, get closer on that one after. Standard in four. Standard in five. And another short spool slash wide serration, whatever thing. Uh, all the springs look the same. And no modifications to these top chambers, guys. So it's just the bottom ones are all counter milled. Which is pretty damn awesome. Don't know if, yeah, you can kind of see that. There's counter milling. Going, focus. There we go. Counter milling on every one of those chambers. Pretty damn awesome. Haven't seen that on a padlock before, guys. But it is just a kick cylinder, so I guess you could pretty much get whatever you want in there. And for the pins, we have, like I was saying, it's either a 
wide serration or a very shallow spool on one and six. Come on, focus. There we go. And everything else is standard except for pin three, which I don't know if you could see that, but it's kind of oblong off to the sides. And I watched uh, Zombie take a lock apart with a bump, anti-bump pin. And yeah, it's the same thing. So as you can see, this pin will not go down very far into the uh, chamber, into the key chambers, which means you won't be able to bump this because it won't actually be touching uh, pin 3 when it's at its lowest point. So that's what they do for anti-bump. Uh, my focus comes back. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, guys, it's a really decent lock. I'm actually pretty happy with it. It wasn't very expensive either. I can't remember how much it was. You know, you didn't pay for it really. Got it with gift cards, so wasn't paying attention to the price. But it was it was comparable to uh, to an Avis or an American of the same size. The only thing I didn't really like about it is the the complication sort of like how complicated it is. <laughs> it doesn't have to be that complicated. The design. But, um, you know, it works, and a couple tools to get into it, it's not too bad. So that's the uh, Stanley 50mm 24-7 security, 6-pin, it's a Schlag type keyway, so SC4 keyway. Yeah, not a bad lock, guys. Alright, later.